The Christmas Story. Thousands of bright lights have beautified all the neighborhoods. The shop windows are full of Christmas items, while the Christmas cookies are already prepared. The atmosphere in homes is festive. The decorations have begun, and all Christians are preparing to celebrate Christmas. I wonder, do you know the story of Christmas? To find out, we'd have to travel back about two thousand years. Our story begins in a small town, Nazareth. There lived a young and good girl named Mary, who was very faithful to God. Maria helped in her family's agricultural work. She was engaged and soon to be married to a good man, Joseph, who was a carpenter. One night, while Mary was sleeping, light flooded the room, and the archangel Gabriel appeared before her. Naturally, she was frightened when she saw him. He told her not to be afraid and announced that God had chosen her to be the mother of His son. She will give birth to a boy and name him Jesus. Mary was surprised and said that His will will be done. The angel also appeared to Joseph. And told him that Mary would give birth to the Son of God. Time passed, and Mary, not pregnant, waited with Joseph for the birth of Jesus. When the time came for her to give birth, an order came from the governor of the country that all the inhabitants had to go to the city of their birth to be censored. Joseph and Mary had to go to Bethlehem, a very distant city. This was very difficult, however, as Mary was about to give birth. However, the next morning they prepared to start. Joseph on foot, and Mary mounted on a donkey. The journey was long and lasted several days. They made it to Bethlehem late at night. The city was filled with people who had arrived for the census. Joseph and Mary tried to find a room to spend the night, but they were all full. They tried hard, but nothing. It was important to find a warm and safe place, as soon Mary would give birth. Then one of the innkeepers, seeing Mary pregnant, took pity on them and suggested they stay in his stable that night. Indeed, the innkeeper led them to the stable. It was warm and clean. Mary and Joseph thanked him. Joseph arranged the place. And they lay down to rest. Something magical happened that night. Mary gave birth to the Son of God. Everything happened as the angel had said. It was indeed a boy, and they named him Jesus.
Joseph made a small manger and laid the baby down. On the hill outside the city, two shepherds were tending their sheep. Suddenly the sky was filled with light, and an angel appeared before them and told them that that night the Son of God was born. He also told them to go and find him and tell everyone that tonight the Savior of the world was born. Surprised at what happened, the shepherds wanted to go down to Bethlehem to see if this baby was actually born. Indeed, they arrived at the stable and found the baby Jesus in the manger. They immediately knelt down to worship him. Far away in Bethlehem, in some country in the east, there lived three wise men who studied the stars. One day, they saw a bright star in the sky, the like of which they had never seen before. So they wanted to know what it meant. They read the prophecies and understood that a new great king was born. They decided to follow the star to lead them to him and worship him. Their journey was long and they were always guided by the shining star. At the time Jesus was born, the country was under the rule of King Herod. The three wise men arrived at the palace and told him about the star and the birth of the great king. He was afraid that he would lose his throne. But without showing his fear, he told them to find him and tell him where he was so that he could go and worship him. Herod, however, had it in his mind to hurt the baby. The three wise men followed the star for days. Until it stopped over the stable. Surprised to see that the new king was born in a humble manger. They offered him precious gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These gifts were offered only to kings. It was unusual for them to be given to a baby, but everyone understood that this was no ordinary baby. After bowing down, the three wise men went on their way back. They would also pass by Herod to tell him where the new king was, as they had promised him. On the way, they stopped to rest. While they were asleep, all three saw the same vision. An angel appeared and told them not to go to Herod, as it would hurt Jesus. So they went away by another way. Angry that Herod did not know where the baby was born, he ordered his soldiers to kill all babies up to two years old born in Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph, to save Jesus from the slaughter of the infants, fled to Egypt. 